We have sufficient knowledge of Darlington pair and now we will perform the DC analysis of amplifier circuit with the Darlington pair. Depending on biasing scheme and the output we can have different circuits depending on biasing scheme biasing scheme and the output and the output we can have different circuits one such circuit you can see on your screen this particular circuit is called as Darlington ammeter follower circuit this circuit is called as Darlington ammeter follower circuit Darlington is there in the name because we have the Darlington pair in the circuit and ammeter follower is there in the name because output is taken from the ammeter terminal. You can see this is the ammeter terminal and the output VO is taken from the ammeter terminal and whenever we take the output from the ammeter terminal we call it ammeter follower configuration. For normal amplifiers we take the output from the collector terminal. This terminal is the base terminal and this terminal is the collector terminal and now we will perform the DC analysis of this Darlington ammeter follower circuit. This transistor here is the first transistor Q1, this transistor is the second transistor Q2 and together they make the Darlington transistor. Vi is the input voltage, C1 and C2 are the coupling capacitors and for DC the reactance offered by C1 and C2 is infinity. So I will open circuit C1 and C2 for the DC analysis. This resistance RB is the base resistance. This resistance here is the ammeter resistance. Current through resistance RB is the base current of the first transistor and I will represent it. I will represent it by I subscript B subscript 1 current through resistance RE is the ammeter current of the second transistor. I will represent it by I subscript E subscript 2. This current is the ammeter current of the first transistor IE1 and this current this current is the base current of the second transistor and as we already know two different currents cannot flow through the same wire. This means IE1 is same as IB2. This current is the collector current of the second transistor and this current is the collector current of the first transistor and as we already know these two transistors are making one single transistor called as Darlington transistor. This is the Darlington transistor represented by QD. This is the base current IB, collector current IC and emitter current IE. The gain of Darlington transistor is let's say beta subscript D and one thing you can see IB1 is same as IB. So instead of representing this current as IB1, I will represent it as IB. IE is same as IE2. So I will represent current through resistance RE as IE and this current here is the collector current IC of the Darlington transistor and we already know in case of DC analysis our prime aim is to find out output current and the output voltage. We have to find out output current and the output voltage. Output current is IE and the output voltage is VE. I will first explain why the output voltage is equal to VE. The output voltage is the potential difference across the resistance RE and you can see the potential difference is simply equal to VE potential at this point minus potential at this point. This point is connected to the ground so potential is equal to 0 volts. VE minus 0 volts is equal to VE. So the output voltage is equal to VE and we can easily calculate the output voltage once we have the output current. 
So the first thing that we will do is to calculate the output current and for that purpose I will use the Kirchhoff's voltage law. I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop. We will start from VCC and we will end at ground that is 0 volts. So we have VCC, VCC minus IBRB drop across resistance RB, IB, RB minus base to ammeter voltage of the first transistor. Let's say it is VBE1. So minus VBE1. Then we have minus VBE2, the base to ammeter drop for the second transistor minus VBE2 then we have drop across resistance RE which is equal to IERE IE RE equal to 0 and let's say this is equation number 1 and we already know we already know the ammeter current is equal to the collector current plus the base current and if we talk about second transistor then the ammeter current is equal to IE the collector current is equal to IC2 IC2 and the base current is equal to IB2 IB2 IC2 is also equal to beta times IB2 so in place of IC2 I will write down beta times IB2 beta is the current gain and to make it more clear, I will write down beta to the current gain of the second transistor. So we have beta 2 plus 1 multiplied with IB2. Beta 2 plus 1 is nearly equal to beta 2. So IE is equal to beta 2 IB2. And you can see IB2 is equal to IE1. So we can write, we can write IE is equal to beta 2 IE1 in place of IB2 we have written IE1 and using this result we can write IE1 as beta 1 IB1 so we have IE equal to beta 2 multiplied with beta 1 IB1 so the ammeter current is equal to beta 2 beta 1 IB1 and we already know beta 2 multiplied with beta 1 is nothing but beta D the gain of Darlington amplifier. So it is equal to beta D IB1. Now we will put this value of IE in this equation. This will give us VCC minus IB RB minus inside the bracket VBE1 plus VBE2 minus IE we can write as beta D IB1 beta D IB1 multiplied with resistance RE equal to 0 and as we have already discussed earlier that IB1 is same as IB so I will write IB in place of IB1. Simplifying this we can easily find out the base current IB. It is equal to VCC minus VBE. VBE is equal to VBE1 plus VBE2. VBE is the base to emitter voltage for the Darlington amplifier. This is the numerator. The denominator is resistance RB plus beta D multiplied with RE. So this is the expression of base current and we can use this expression to find out ammeter current because ammeter current is equal to beta D multiplied with IB1 which is IB. So ammeter current IE is equal to beta D inside the bracket VCC minus VBE divided by RB plus beta D RE. So this is the output current of the Darlington ammeter follower circuit and the output voltage VE is simply equal to is simply equal to IE RE 
the drop across resistance RE. Once you calculate the ammeter current IE using this expression, put it here and you will have the output voltage. I will not upload the lecture on AC analysis part. Instead, I will upload the notes on the website. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.